by the means of those miracles given. All praise to you, Ba'ashem Ha'ushah, Ba'ashem And this is from Revelation 13, verse 14. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image. And this is not talking about uh, the picture of Caesar Bogier, you got a particular idiot out there that'll come across this scripture and his feeble mind will then tell his lips to say that that's talking about his picture of Caesar Bogier. So don't listen to that fool. It says, which had the wound by a sword and did live. So that image had a wound by a sword and did lift live now you got to go back to the first second third verse first couple of verses of revelation 13 to understand that the wound that this uh beast had one of the heads was wounded is a roman empire that's the image the image is the roman system so let me go from here and then I'm going to show you give you the give you this video you know what let me just go ahead and bring it up okay this is a video and I'll leave, I'll leave this the link in the description box this is uh, this was put up yesterday um, two days ago May 10th um, 2021 Year of the hastening of the coming of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. Um, the uh, the YouTube page is Defense Updates, and the title is British Royal Marines, which, by the way, the the um, Great Britain um, departed from the EU, but they're still a part of NATO which is part of the same beast. NATO represents the military part of the beast and the EU represents the economical part of the beast. That's why you have some EU nations that are part of uh, NATO nations, some NATO nations that are part from part of the EU nations. Give you another example, Turkey is a member of NATO and I'll do the fact check on that but I'm almost positive it is but not a member of the EU France is a part of the EU and also a member of NATO it says uh, the title of this video on YouTube is British Royal Marines successfully test gravity industries jetpack Potential, potentially game-changing. And this is uh, 3 minutes and 12 seconds in of a 6 minute and 55 second video. And this was uh, created by a man named Richard Browning. First started work on the project in the year 2016 and if you see this is a Brit um the British Royal Marines and you see an individual flying in the air and when you watch the video you'll actually see it he's on this uh I guess you call it a pea boat uh flying to a ship So now let's go into the scriptures. I'm not going to make this long. Revelation 13 verse 4. 
And he worshipped the dragon, which gave power unto the beast. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with the beast? Yeah, because of their technology. They have the technology, they have the what's called a cloaking device where they can um, make themselves invisible. So, you know, no nation can deal with Esau's technology because the Most High gave it to him through the Spirit. But now he's getting ready to lose that power. Jumping down to the 7th verse, Revelation 13, verse 7. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints. The saints are the Israelites. Now you can go back to Daniel, the 7th chapter. It speaks about they wore out the saints of the Most High. So we're talking about when Esau came against us in the Roman Empire more than 2,000 years ago, going back some 2,000 years ago. And in the New World, when Christopher Columbus, starting in 19, 1492, came to the Americas and conquered the tribes that were already over here. And then went over to mainly the west coast of Africa and, and um, basically grabbed up Judah, Benjamin, Levi, and some of the other tribes of the ten of the uh, the ten tribes and um, brought him here against the will to serve slavery. Seven verse. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And that's, and that's what they did. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. A verse. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of, of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. That's Yahweh Shai. That's why uh, I, um, Abraham was told to, told to sacrifice his son Isaac, which represents a picture of Yahweh Shai being slain because Isaac, actually came back as Yahweh Shai. So when he came back 2,000 years ago, he was actually sacrificed. He's known as the Lamb. Twelve verse. We're jumping down to the twelve verse. And he exercises all the power of the first beast before him, which is the Roman Empire, pagan Roman Empire, and causes the earth and now at that particular at the, during the time of the Roman Empire they didn't have control of the earth. They had control of part of the earth. The Romans had no idea about the other side of the world, the, the so called Americas. And them which dwelled therein to worship the first beast, the first beast of the Roman Empire. When, you, when you're when you part of this system, you're following the Roman Empire system, their political system. They had a Senate. Over here, you have set up a, a Senate. You have a president, which is the first, and, he, and a, a president is also known as commander-in-chief. Now, the word emperor... Literally, literally means commander, which back then they called him Caesars, whose deadly wound was healed, which is the Roman Empire. Thirteen verse, and he do and he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from the earth, from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. Let me look up the word wonders. Strong. 
Strong's G, 4592, Semayon. Semayon. Which means a sign mark token, that that by which a person or thing is distinguished from others and is known. Well, that's Esau. Esau is distinguished from others and is known. He's known for his power. A sign, prodigy, prodigy meaning monster, a uh, uh, potent, portent, i.e. an unusual occurrence transcending the common course of nature. This individual uh, flying in the air, not being a bird, that's uh, that's uh, transcending the common course of nature. I didn't see who that was, so I didn't answer. Anyway, it says, uh, A sign prodigy potent, i.e. an unusual occurrence, transcending the common course of nature. A So this is their form of spiritual power. Their form of spiritual power is through technology. Of signs, pro, protend, protending remarkable events soon to happen. Of miracles and wonders by which the Most High authenticates uh, the the men sent by him, or by which men like prophets uh, prove that the course they are pleading is is the Most High's. And this in this case is talking about uh, Esau, which is his, his technology. Okay, let me go down to the, uh, so the 13th verse says, and he doeth great wonders, and that's one of the wonders, him being able to fly, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven, that's the missiles, and the first uh, example of that was uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, on the earth, that's why you have nations that fear the, the so-called U.S. because of their, their power. It says uh, the reason why the petrol dollar or the world reserve currency is in play right now because it's backed up not by gold but by the U.S. military and the earth in the sight of men and, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast, which is the Roman system, which had the wound by a sword and did live. So now I'm going to look up the word miracles, and then I'll close it. So you ain't going to see no Negro flying in the air. But you will see Edomites <laughs> flying in the air. They have that technology, something that a Negro doesn't have. And I'm going to call you a Negro because you don't deserve to be called an Israelite at this particular point in time. So let me look up the word miracles. Strong's G, 4592, Semayon. Same word. Semayon. Same word. A sign mark, that by which a person or thing is distinguished from others. A sign, prodigy, uh, a portent, power, i.e., an unusual occurrence transcending the common course of nature. It goes against nature 
that a man could fly. But Esau can actually fly. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.